E. This is like uh, Lazy Sunday, right? So I call it Lazy Sunday. I'm lazy. I had a drinking game for you guys, right? I got a drinking game and shit. Now, every time you see a commercial with an interracial couple, right? A black woman and a white man, I want you to take a drink, okay? You know, if you, even if you're on social media or whatever you're doing, you know, whatever media is presented to you, every time you see an interracial couple with a white man and a black woman, I want you to take a drink. You take two drinks. If the black woman is somewhat overweight and the guy is schlubby looking and they have a mixture, okay, it, you take two drinks. If the black woman is not fit, you know, she's kind of ratty looking with the schlubby guy, kind of maybe a chubby guy, medium guy, you take two drinks for that. And you take three drinks if you see them, that they have a mixed race kid with frizzy hair, you know, with the umbrella shaped hair or any kind of, any kind of frizzy hair, not the long shit. Don't take a drink for that. But you take three drinks when you see a whole family unit made up of a, a, a fucked up looking flabby ass uh, black female, uh, a, a middle looking white guy, not a not a hunk guy, okay, not a hunk guy, okay, just like a regular looking white dude and a biracial kid, all right. But I I've been seeing this since uh, back in the day, like a couple years ago, they were talking about this uh, Nigerian producer woman, I forgot her fucking name, nor should I give a shit to remember it, but she had this show called Bob Ashabola or some shit where it was some fat ass female with, well, some black female with a fat ass dude, man, looked like John Candy's body double or something and shit, and the show was about how he was the prize, you know, and during the show they took jabs at, um, you know, American born uh, black people and shit, you know, it took t numerous jabs, you know, anyway, whatever. I don't know if that this shit probably got canceled by now. I'm not even gonna go check, but uh, I started noticing that they were marketing the interracial thing, like with the black woman and a white dude, like a little bit before that. But like really after that, I started looking at shit. I even saw it on a fucking uh, Marvel cartoon and shit. They had like a thing like the fucking, you know, the uh, the woke Avengers they have on there, and they had a scene where you saw like a fat ass white dude with a black chick and a mixed race kid. Why not? I just laugh at my fucking ass off. I'm not tripping on the mixed race kid. I don't trip on no mixed race children and shit. They didn't ask to be here and shit, okay? So I'm not shitting on them, but I'm shitting on the idea, you know, behind it, you know? I know that some of these outsiders, you know, they, you know, some of these Cointel Pro bullshits, they, they be listening to our social media and watching it and shit, and they, they got the bright idea that this is a good idea. <laughs> They got the right idea to, to bump this up, you know, this whole gender divide thing and shit. And, hey, I I agree. You keep doing that because we need, you know, as a good friend of mine is talking about, uh, you know, personal eugenics and shit. Vetting the females that you lay up with, okay, on a serious level and shit. I'm not going to get into that right now, but I think that's a good idea, shit. We need more shitty looking, you know, females to go with these slubby, shitty looking white dudes, you know. Just lay it going with them and shit. <laughs> But I think it's funny as shit. I don't think it's funny when they take shots at us, but, you know, you, this is like, you know, a litmus test for idiots. You know, if you don't know what the fuck's going on, you, this is shit you just see. And, uh, you know, right now they're marketing black women as an asexual race. All right. The, you know, some sisters probably think that's a good idea. Hey, it's cool. Until your ass become the next George Floyd. I'm going to keep saying that. The next George Floyd, the next big George Floyd is going to be a black female. She's going to be the next bitch that get killed by one of these maniac cops. All right, I'm predicting it right now. I'm calling it. Because they want you to be a single gender race. Okay, thematically and, you know, as far as their media, the media they control, which is everything. Hey, every, just, hey, take a drink. You know, if you're not an alcoholic, I wonder if, if anyone has a drinking problem, please don't do this drinking again because you'll be fucked. You might as well do that shit in the AA meeting while you're looking at your phone. <laughs> yeah, so... Just come to how, how many times you see a black female in a position, you know, like, you know, and, and on top of that, take another drink if the chick is obviously the, the alpha of the family, you know. Now, I say take half a, half a shot. If you see an actual black couple, but it's a shitty looking overweight black woman or sh slubby looking black woman with a black male in the house, but he's obviously the female, he'll be on the, 
the weak side of the woman walking next to the woman or, or on the weak side of her in the frame, all right? And uh, take cut a point off if it's uh, done by BET because they don't count. They don't count because they're obviously they're a white owned company. <laughs> so yeah, that's my drinking game and shit for Lazy Sunday. Uh, schlubby black women and shit and white dudes and a mixed race kid. Well, who's got usually they have that uh, frizzy hair that's shaped like a fucking umbrella or something. 